I know you're a fan of Simon, but based on his antecedents, his honesty, and of course, uh, having been proven over time to be Mazinam, the kind of faithful uh, disciple. Your take on this? Um, I, Mr. Kmara, the new Okokonden, I always stand with Simon Nathan. I haven't seen him face to face before, apart from following his program. But what he do is pleases pleases me. What he do pleases other people, the real people of Biafra, because I feel that someone ever was ordained by God Almighty to take over from Nandekalo because of where those Eflefu Biafra have sold him to. And you can see that those people that are condemning Sam Monepa, call him all sorts of names. Last time I spoke about Sam Monepa and Biafran government, somebody, two people on the comment section abusing me, calling Sam Monepa a perima. And those that, are, that know that they are not a perima, they cannot do what Sam Monepa is doing. They, are, they themselves are criminals, calling Sam Monepa a perima. Why they have not shown their own stance and position regarding the Biafran struggle is the height of madness and stupidity. Uh, uh, they themselves, that know that they, they are angels. Someone is a perima. They are angels. They have not started. How much to reach where a perima have reached? If someone is a perima and doing the right thing, and they that are, are, are angels are doing the wrong thing, now, who is good? Who is fair? Who is righteous? Who is wicked? But to my own surprisation, I saw and heard and seen in some media platforms where somebody called Chunedu Michael abusing someone ever, saying that who made him, who anointed him, who had him over to sit near the shoe of Namdekalo? I look at people like that who achieve nothing in life. Upon all their education, they are still roaming on the street. They prefer how the Nigerian government keep them than to align with someone to liberate themselves. They will remain impoverished, subjected, of course, Becoming the lovers of the oppressors. What a shame. Instead of them to come out, as I come out, Naja did not fail for me. I come out to see what, for Biafra, I know that they fail for me. John up with someone Epa. Someone Epa is doing the writing. Without someone Epa, Nam De Carlo and Biafra case could have been a death case. They rise up abusing someone Epa, whom is fighting for restoration of Biafra and for release of Naja. And for the release of Nam De Carlo. Look at Samuel Ekpa, where he is in Finland. He lack nothing. He lack nothing. Heaven is on earth for him. But he volunteered himself for the struggle of Biafra, for the, for the uh, uh, release of Nam De Carlo, so that it will be well with us that are in Nigeria. That are suffering, even those who are suffering, who can't feed themselves, who Nigeria has turned to a mockery and uh, unfortunate uh, mishaps befalling them, yet have the guts to criticize the Prime Minister of the Biafran Republic government in exile, who is committed to the freedom and the liberty of his own people as enshrined in, in United Nations people's. Uh, Charter for Fundamental Rights of the People and Freedom of the Indigenous People of Biafra. Now, look at it. How you explain now he's struggling for Biafra. Do you know that if Biafra gets hurt, by God's grace, be restored. If someone else will come, like he will return to Biafra. If not, like he will not return to Biafra because where he is, he lacks nothing. Coming to Biafra, as he said, he will bring Finland in Biafra. He is to give, help Biafra to build a strong foundation for future generations to be fair and fairness, not corruption of Nigeria.
And to the most, those most uh, flavorful who are frustrated in life, of course, to have a sense of belonging and to chart a future for themselves. Not that they're coming to Biafra to seek for praise or for Biafra to pay him or to seek for position. No, where he's there is so, good for him. He, he lacks nothing. So he coming to Biafra is to help to build Biafra nation, to be one of number one nation, one of the number one nation that are right in the world. So these people that are criticizing him, like this uh, Chinedu, Michael, or whatever he call himself, I look at them as enemies of Biafra, enemies of Nam de Kalo, enemies of righteousness, enemies of good thing, enemies of someone Epa, who hate him personally. Enemies of restoration of Biafra. I look at them as part of DOS, betrayers, Judas, Korea, Detan, and Abira. That's why I look at them. And the, and the lovers of the oppressors. And lovers of the oppressors, actually. And I look at them as people. If Nigeria government give them one million naira now, they will turn fully against Biafra and Biafrans. I look at them as obi obedience. I look at them as members of Ohana Zendibu. I look at them as a group of uh, China Sanwaru, Chike Dozie, Emapa uh, Wafo, uh, 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 Ikengu Ruago, and Duko. I look at them as in those group. I look at them as a group of uh, 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 Uzodima, whom Uzodima will employ and give them one to kill their brothers, and they will do it. So I look at them as people who are seeking Nigeria government favor. Who want the national government to recognize them? Because are they are speaking against Nam de Kalo. I mean, speaking against Samuel Ekba. They are equally speaking against Nam de Kalo. They are equally speaking against Biafra. So I am looking at him that he want to attract the national government attention to himself, so that they will call him, and for him to be eating for the crumbs that fall for his father's table. That's the only thing he's looking for. You want to look at him? Don't know that he's suffering in hunger, as I am suffering in hunger. Look at him, look at him. he's swimming in the street, a graduate without any job, a graduate without any hope of tomorrow. So he wants the federal government to employ him. As Lagos State to employ the um, um, Joe Ibokwe, he was eating that time, abusing Biafra. Now, where is Joe Ibokwe? They have made him use and dumb. He wants he want the federal government to employ him. As they employ Owazirike, he dumped Biafra and to follow them. As they employ as the Kubo, he's following them. That's the only thing this man wants federal government recognition so that he'll be eating and betray his people, betray his future. Thank you so much uh, for this wonderful position uh, you have expressed. Uh, to such people, they can go and hang themselves. But uh, because uh, Simon Epa is remain committed up to the restoration of the Biafran Republic, and there's nothing anybody can do. There's nothing even the devil can do. There's nothing even anyone can do to stop someone like Simon Ipa and Biafrans who are determined, who are committed, of course, who have crossed the Rubicon and is a point of no return. Thank you once again, Mazio Kokonden, for this you, wonderful submission. Thank you, my host. My parting word or my advice is this Simon Ipa is Simon Ipa. Nothing about it, nothing to deny him. Someone neighbor is someone neighbor. Anything like someone neighbor is not someone neighbor. And by their fruits, we shall know them. We have known them by their fruits and by their sincerity and commitment. Nobody can steal that from us. The truth we know. Someone neighbor is someone neighbor. Therefore, he will continue to do what God ordained him to do. Someone neighbor is not chicken, does he? Someone neighbor is not a. Uh, Someone Epa is not Uche Mefo. Someone Epa is not a Mapawa uh, 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 Chicken. Someone Epa is not a Ifany Ejofo. We do respect there are some people that don't deserve to be mentioned here in Core Wave TV. Core Wave TV is a, uh, is a sacred TV uh, dedicated to human development and liberty and the education of humanity for the very purpose of freedom. And that freedom must be achieved. I'm very sorry. I'm very ca capital sorry 
to use these people to compile someone, I'm very sorry. Because these people are called now. They are not, uh, they, are, they don't reach the standard to be a shoe shiner to someone. They, they have reached the standard. All the people I mentioned, they have reached that I compare them with someone. They have reach to be a shoe shiner of someone. I'm very sorry. Someone, wherever you are, forgive me for these people to, 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 to compare you. Forgive me. These people are nothing. But someone remains someone. Someone is someone. Someone is Nam de Kalo. Nam de Kalo is someone. Someone is Biafra. Biafra is someone. Someone is Bidia Morios of Biafra. Bidia Morios of Biafra are someone. So someone is Gigi Kiji. Oh, yes, Gigi Kiji. Oh, yes, we'll make a name. Oh, we'll lose your man. Someone is the red shoe of your father who fought for, 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 on behalf of Biafra. Someone is the red shoe of Nam de Kalo. Continue. Continue until Biafra is restored. And the Nam de Kalo is out. May God bless you in Jesus' name. I am Mr. Parra, the new Oko Konde in this called Republic of Biafra. This man is Nam de Kalo and his IPOB government of Biafra. Long live Republic of Biafra. Long live Salmon Epa and Finland that have bought him. Long live Nam de Kalo. Long live Biafra.